Hello there and welcome back to uh, France. Well, I guess I should call it the uh, Failing Republic of France because uh, we aren't actually doing too well. We will most likely win the war against Spain here, but other than that, it's uh, it's not really too much to brag about. We have money issues, we have manpower issues, we have prestige, tradition, everything is uh, more or less a little bit troublesome here. As you know, we want to go... Uh, want to most likely go... Uh, Go Protestant, so we will not be embracing the Counter Reformation. We'll simply wait for uh, sieges here to end, then we'll start causing some more troubles for the uh, uh, rebels. Actually, wow. Uh, the Protestant Silos will probably just have to agree with them for now. We have a fairly decent general, but still, we want to upgrade our military a little bit more before we actually start doing stuff because uh, I'm actually ahead. No, we're uh, same level as. Uh, so attacking them here should yield us a, uh, a fairly certain victory, I guess. But still, we are in a little bit of a uh, troublesome situation, so we'll allow these pots and silots and the other guys to... Piedmont. Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned. Can I actually offer these guys to get out? Yeah, I can actually, uh, actually get some way out of this. And that is actually quite good, because they had some troops that were causing... Uh, well, a little bit of a trouble, I guess. Protestant Steel has taken the board. So, let's see here. Can I now have... Accept the Mons. Protestant becomes the new state religion of France. Um, I'm actually tempted to just go for this. Uh, because, well, we can always sit around, but it doesn't really matter. I have to go uh, one or the other in the end, so we'll go Protestant for now. We will most likely get our, uh, our extra missionary soon enough. So let's see here. We can probably just start over at the top and, uh, and start working our way down basically. But uh, for now, it will take a while before we are fully Protestant again. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how this actually plays out. I also want to get another big army here before we start working with Spain. Cleansing of heresy against, well, everyone. Which is quite good. So uh, what I want to do here is vassalize Brittany uh, as soon as I can. But uh, we'll have to wait to see. To see that how things actually end up turning out here, but uh, the pretenders here can potentially uh, hurt us pretty bad, I believe they will revert our... Uh, us here, these rebels, remember? yeah, they will uh, change back to the spotting monarchy, so we'll have... Uh, they're actually attacking us here, we should win that battle, we have pretty much the same amount of troops, the only thing is, since our prestige actually hurt morale, I think, okay, once the blue troops are destroyed, so yeah, thanks to uh, thanks to the fact that our prestige is actually hurting morale of armies, we are we're actually losing battles thanks to that. So we'll have to win these sieges and beat them, uh, uh, beat them with two uh, double the troops, I guess. That should potentially work out. But for now, we'll have to put the maintenance down a little bit until we can actually meet them in battle, which will. I'll take a little while. So we'll go for siege of Vern. We'll go for sieging uh, up here. Then we'll move on. Uh, we can potentially win this battle, I think. Everything helps, I guess. Uh, we should say so. We'll go ahead and destroy those guys, and uh, which also lifts the siege and apparently made every rebel disappear. Well, that's quite good. Catholic sea lords in Avignon. Go off to Luce and uh, Languedoc as soon as we can. But uh, once we actually win this battle, we are pretty much uh, well set thanks to uh, the Siege of Barcelona is over, so they take the things back. Uh, I don't know what the war goal here is. It's uh, Leon. So once we take Leon, things will turn around. Once we get Brittany out of this, things will turn around as well because then we can actually uh, kind of rear changes to Protestant. I don't know why that's a bad thing when I am Protestant. But yeah, as I said, we'll go off to. Uh, the Siege of Finisterre, which basically means that these guys are out of the war uh, full time. They will become our vassal, and with that we can uh, we can use them in this war as well. So uh, that's good. We also got a little bit of, uh, of prestige back. We got some money that will help us pass test act. Sure, why not? Conquer leech. Don't want to the enemy of our enemy. Uh, Tripoli achieve this unity, we'll go for that one. Uh, it will boost my prestige a little bit uh, too later on. We'll get these guys in uh, positions. Yeah, Burn isn't my last line. Well, that, that's, that's how it is. 
so we'll go with military maintenance, put it back to full, and then we'll uh, try to kick this uh, Spanish army's uh, ass. So let's see here, do we want to... Uh, do we actually have to elect a new one every time? And uh, it won't actually be great, which is one of the reasons why I actually wanted to have them in... Uh, in... Uh, in a tree, so... No Republic here doesn't really help that much, but I don't know what we want. We probably want to go for another military ruler, simply because uh, we need to boost our military attack to be able to, uh, to fight back to, uh, well, get back the lands we lost, I guess you should say. See if we can recruit a new one. Actually, it's quite good as well. See, we probably want to kick the other one in this side of our leader. No, we'll dismiss him. He ain't good at all. So we'll have him kick some Spanish butt and. Uh, that would probably be uh, back in the game, I guess. We have the interest of this out. We probably would want to uh, try and hunt them down. But they're running into our lands, so yeah. We'll probably split this one in half and siege Aragon and uh, Barcelona back. We'll go after. Uh, yeah, of course we have some Catalan uh, Patriots ready to save uh, the Spaniards. But. Uh, yeah, things that could have been going better if we can secure an alliance with Bohemia sooner or later and another alliance or even one with Austria, just try to improve the relations with uh, with them to see if we can maybe become friends down the line, I highly doubt it, but it would be interesting to see, so while I mess around with uh, with Spain here, I'll just uh, I'll just put it on pause, we should probably let the Pope here join coalition against them, so apparently the Pope isn't too well liked by everyone but uh, yeah we need a king the republic is sacred yeah that, that could actually help quite a lot on books to build costs and uh, I'm actually tempted to go for the republic to see, to see how this actually will help in the end because as of now the build costs are just a little bit too high for me to actually uh, like the system but uh, potentially down the line we could, uh, we could do quite well on piece of a white piece from Spain and we can't really go flat, seriously. Yeah. We will be. We will be. We will be. We to get the prestige back up. We basically get things going. Another pretender in Memoir. I didn't think we had that much uh, war exhaustion, really. Let's see here. No, we don't have that much war exhaustion either, so. Evil Frisk, I don't get why that's so high. Uh, should probably do a quick checker, it's probably because of them being uh, intolerance, yeah. So the religious unity and intolerance is what's currently causing me the most problems here, so I should potentially just agree with the white PC with Spain, simply because it's, uh, it's the best thing to do. But uh, no, they won't give me money, the only thing they'll agree to is white peace. So we'll go ahead and agree to white peace, unfortunately we have to, and we'll use this white peace to, uh, to turn things around, get our prestige up a little bit, and hopefully we'll also be able to uh, to start kicking some, uh, some butt of the three people as well. But uh, I'm not really that concerned, as you can see a Catholic Seelos are running around in Avignon, causing them a uh, heap of trouble. So uh, we'll allow... Sit Finally, buy allow manpower, our military tech, and so forth to, uh, to basically outrun, out not get better than uh, everyone else's, and we'll also try to convert as much of uh, the county as possible, more of the counties as possible. Which should be having another, uh, another uh, religious idea. So, uh, division in council is 50 military power. That's not good. Although we are close to uh, the next level of military uh, provers, I guess I should say. We still need to uh, to, uh, to make things work, so we'll have our troops uh, replenish, we'll have them well, work. We have Cornwall and some other people here as, uh, as Vassal, I believe it's just Cornwall and uh, yeah, so free traders we must be. Uh, mercantilism is vital for the state. I believe, as I said uh, earlier, mercantilism has become important in this uh, game because basically it uh, decides your provincial trade income modifier. And other than that, there aren't really that much that decides it. So, try to get mercantilism up. There aren't really that many ways of doing it. Sacrifice a little bit of republic tradition is, uh, is fine by me. And 
as you can see, our prestige will sooner or later become good as well. But until we actually have something happening, uh, war with the Avignon, else, we'll just uh, put it on pause and see how, see how things turn out, really. As you can see, we have gotten our second uh, missionary, sorry, and also we have a pre military attack to 11. Which gives some uh, small bonuses, but still they will be uh, they will be helpful. Nonetheless, as you see, we need 11,000 extra men. We are only gaining 200 a month. Uh, a way to go around this is by uh, using uh, mercenaries, but unfortunately we don't really have the money to uh, to uh, well to boost them or use them. So we'll have to be a little bit careful here, and we'll have to uh, hopefully we'll get divine supremacy soon to uh, to boost our. Uh, missionaries and other than that there aren't really that much we want to do we want to try and keep quiet keep silent probably go after Toulouse if they aren't allied with anyone here uh, Austria is a defender of Catholic faith but other than that there uh, there seems to be okay uh, how about Foix uh, the ally with Avignon and Aragon so yeah we will probably go after Toulouse first and hopefully Austria will uh, stay out of it although I honestly doubt it as you can see they uh, they don't really like me that much, so we'll go ahead and uh, cause some trouble for Spain by uh, fabricating claims on them on the remaining of the provinces. We'll uh, try to uh, try to be friendly with, uh, well, Hess, Bohemia and hopefully um, Austria later on, but uh, right now the real issue is that I don't really have any uh, any real alliances to speak of that can actually help me out here. Uh, same with Bohemia, they probably hate me as well for the same reason, the Sun Alliance. But uh, when you ask a country that's... Honestly, I was very weak then, so asking me to help them in war... Uh, was a little bit just over the top, basically, when I hadn't asked them to join any of my wars. So, uh, we'll sit quite patiently here, try to replenish our manpower, it will take forever. But, yeah. Three rebels at once. Pretenders, Barua Nationalists, Kuyet. I don't get why the river risk is so high. I get it. I get it that it's due to uh, due to religion, and thus it will be uh, a long time ahead of us. But still, this uh, this is just overkill on turn. Makes sense. But we can kill some of these guys off rather easily, and simply vanished. Uh, with. But uh, still, once we have give this ten more years, and then we will have uh, hopefully turn enough counties around to actually, yeah, actually make a difference, but uh, yeah, at this rate we'll probably suffer one uh, people per month, and we only have to get men. So we'll have to use all our troops to, uh, to keep them in check. We should probably, as I said, go after, uh, try to hire some, uh, some uh, mercenaries to deal with the rebels, but we don't really have the money, so we'll sit patiently by and see how, see how things goes. I am actually quite tempted right now to attack attack Avignon simply because they have rebel issues. Uh, a lot of them, it seems, they are uh, Catholic zealots. But still, it's also tempting because they have two uh, Protestant provinces, and uh, it could potentially turn. They actually have three, so that's actually quite good. Half of them will uh, it'll actually boost my religious uh, my religious unity here, as you can see. So that's quite well. We also uh, managed to get Picardy and Charolais to. Uh, Become Protestant, so all in all things are things are looking up a little bit. We won't hire a new, uh, uh, well, diplomat. But uh, what I'm tempted to do here is also kick the military guy simply to uh, get a little bit more money that I can then use to uh, to hire some mercs. But uh, for now, I guess we'll actually take a chance. The only real issue here is that they are allied with Foix, and Modena, and the Hansa. Modena ain't actually. They actually are quite big. But they will need, uh, well, deals with Savoy, and I'm a little bit unsure if they have those. We'll just do a quick little check here. Diplomatic insult, warning Milan, won by Austria. Marriage, allied with Avignon, Mass in Trier. So yeah, it seems like they might actually not have uh, have deals with Savoy, and thus we can most likely take uh, take Avignon here without too much trouble. There will probably have to be two wars, as I said, so uh, we'll go ahead, take a chance here, take back my uh, six course that they have and if we do so it'll boost my uh, it will boost us quite a lot really so uh, let's see how this turns out who joins in who doesn't it seems like no one uh, decided to join in in Avignon uh, here 
So we'll have them play around with the with their rebels a little bit. Brittany joined in on our side, and that is a lot of rebels. This could potentially be bad for us too when you consider the amount. But if we can take Avignon, Burg, and uh, Languedoc, I'm pretty sure that we uh, would be in a good position here. We had a siege, try to siege these before we walk up on the Castilian rebels. I believe I can just uh, negotiate with them though, but it'll probably hurt me quite a lot in terms of. At uh, just 10 prestige, we'll not enforce in demands, except demands will. Yeah, it'll hurt a little bit, but it's uh, probably the wisest move to do. The Republic is sacred, losing another point of the stability, not good, but we're at least getting some national grievance risk modifiers thanks to, uh, thanks to having high Republic tradition, so that's good, I guess. But uh, hopefully, we'll be able to take at least Berg and Languedoc, and hopefully, Lyonnais. No, we'll actually not. We'll just take Roche and Langdok this war because, as you can see, they're actually busy uh, trying to uh, to spread the faith into those two other provinces. So that's quite neat, and should potentially help us out uh, quite a lot. But uh, yeah, we'll have to we'll have to see how we do with this. We'll move some troops to 27 regiments in Nevers. Yeah, that's uh, overkill as usual. So. We'll go ahead, keep quiet, but uh, I don't think that will be good for us, really. We want to come to the stair. Doesn't matter if the class is miles, so I don't care. The worst is successful. We're going to burn. And we can go ahead and just continue down the same line. It will take forever, though, before uh, we actually have complete religious unity. But uh, it'll be interesting to see how it turns out. We should probably invest a little bit on military ideas here as well now. And serve them. That one will be actually be quite important to boost our. Uh, try to ease the tension. Seriously, that will actually help out quite a lot here. Catholic Sealots in Foix as well. But, uh, yeah, if we can get at least Roach and Langdog, because I don't believe I can annex these guys in in a single war. So let's see here. No, 102%, so they are actually just about it. If we can't take Roach and Langdog, which both are Protestant, I'll actually be uh, quite happy with these gains. We. Uh, can't really gamble too much here, and also this will cut Toulouse even more off from uh, the rest of the world. So uh, I'm happy with that, simply because we have boosted our religious unity a little bit. Uh, thanks to that, they're both Protestant provinces, as I said. Uh, that's the wrong map, that one, as you can see. So uh, that helps. That helps out uh, a lot. Uh, we should probably have tried to kill these Catholic Seelots, but. Uh, yeah, they actually turned Catholic there, so that's a little bit of a problem. Castilian, so I think then uh, control of Burgess. The Hansa offers us an alliance. They aren't that great, they aren't that big. They will probably just end up being uh, trouble here. But yeah, if we are careful here, try to uh, get a little bit friendly with uh, Austria, I think we can uh, get out a good deal. The real problem here is that Austria has a very long border with us, which potentially means that they will end up causing problems sooner or later. But. Uh, Take a chance here. Uh, Austria will. I'm actually. I'm actually just a little bit concerned because Austria will probably end up joining in, and that that's actually quite scary when you think about it. So let's see. Let's go in. Take the one Foix, the ally with Argon, Austria is defender of faith. But still, it's quite tempting to take a chance. We'll however go and kill off these rebels over here. I think. Um, simply because of the fact that we'll have to give up to uh, the Nevers guys, since they have an extreme amount of troops. So, uh, wow, that, that, that's expensive. But still, we'll have to, we'll have to deal with They actually have more troops than me. As I said, probably we'll wait for the next one to one. 6,000 men. Uh, we'll have these guys go up and deal with them, we'll have these guys go and uh, siege. But as you can see, we are not doing too too well. We'll have to see this four of some person left uh, I believe it's a core of mine. But yeah, we'll go ahead, deal with the rebels, and once we have, we'll get back to you. With Church of Tendence Duty, we get uh, stability cost modifier minus 25%. We also get in uh, French ideas advance. As you say, we want an Empire modifier plus 25 along with leader shock. We'll probably want that diplomat but we don't have any use for him right now, so this one is interesting though, but next time we'll probably go for offensive ideas to boost our manpower even more, along with uh, force modifier and discipline. 
that should potentially give us uh, the means to fight, well, anyone, uh, anywhere, so uh, that's quite neat. Also, our diplomacy, uh, we aren't using that for anything right now, so uh, we'll just go ahead and upgrade our, our technology, because that's the one that's just lagging a little bit behind, but still, should be alright. Also, it's still a little bit of a, uh, of a problem foe here. As you can see, we can't keep him without losing, uh, losing the Republic, but... Uh, I think we'll just go for another of the same. Hopefully it'll be a bit bit better general though. And he actually were, so that's quite no, quite nice. And uh, I might attempt to go off to lose, but I think that wait until Austria becomes not the Federal of Fate, I guess, or I'm strong enough to take them on. Which basically means that I'll have to wait for my manpower to replenish. Along with uh, building up to uh, to force limit, which is uh, 23,000 more men. So what will be needed here is to wait, and basically Americas will be uh, will be lost. Uh, that much is uh, certain. The Castilians and Portuguese will most likely be already be over there trying to uh, trying to forge their lands. So we should probably have gone for uh, probably change back to, uh, to something after a while here to try and give ourselves a little bit of a. Uh, Catholic Zealots. Does that mean that these guys have turned Protestant? They're allied with Austria now. Wow. Wow. That is, uh... That's just mean, really. But still, we can, of course, uh, start causing some problems now. We are doing well also in terms of religious unity. It's slowly but surely going up. It will take a while before we get everything done, though. Uh, especially Burgers, as you can see, but... Uh, once we actually get the Divine Supremacy, that will boost our missionary strength uh, considerably. I'm pretty sure that we will be able to, uh, to pull this off. Also with uh, the manpower modifier and noble officers, I think we uh, will have a much better army. And also, after getting uh, some of these here, uh, we'll probably just go up to uh, to this one, I think. Then we'll focus to get Town Hall to get offensive ideas to boost our military even more. And we'll probably go for Balti after that one to simply try to boost the military here, so having a guy that can give us military uh, power will be important, but uh, all in all I think it would actually be better to change back to a, uh, change back to a, uh, a, uh, a kingdom instead of a republic, so uh, I don't know how long it is until we can get absolute rulership, then we can get a republican dictatorship, so uh, yeah, we'll have to see how uh, I'll actually deal with this, but potentially, once we get a chance to uh, to change the ruler, we'll probably change back to a feudal monarchy, because in this game, uh, it seems that you can't get uh, the supreme rulers that you could in your tree that would have 999 over the line. It seems that uh, that's just a, a pipe dream, so to speak. So, uh, we'll probably have to... Uh, we'll probably have to sit by patiently, quietly, and... Uh, Wait till we can get a feudal or despotic monarchy back, simply because it's, it's to me, it has more good points. You have the royal marriage, uh, you have the unions and such. The only thing here is that this takes forever to help and legitimacy basically does the exact same thing, but it is, is more or less easier to control. And also, so yeah, we'll... Uh, We'll have to see how we'll pull it off, but it'll probably be something along those lines. We are getting, earning a little bit more money right now, so we could potentially also just go for a crusade against... Why can't I... There we go. Uh, but as I said, we'll have to keep an eye on these guys. Once they lose their alliance with Austria, we'll probably attack. Once our truce goes up here, we'll probably uh, try and go off them. They were Protestant, but... Uh, turn Catholic now, which is uh, a little bit of a pity, really. So, uh, but at least England is Protestant, so we can actually go after them. Try to get a alliance, I guess. I think we can actually ally with England, and uh, and once we have, we'll try to get a uh, royal marriage with them, which in turn could lead to a uh, a personal union. So I guess we'll go for personal unions more than uh, just flat out conquest, because everyone basically ended up piling on me when I did that. So. Uh, that's quite bad. We turn two more provinces into Protestant, which uh, makes the map a little bit more, uh, a little bit prettier, I guess I should say. But as you can see here, there is something that slows this down. I have to do a quick little check here. Uh, 
but uh, we'll probably be able to deal with that soon enough. We'll, we'll have to wait a little bit before we actually reach uh, enough administrative power to actually get the, uh, the Divine Supremacy, but as things are now, we're looking more and more stable than we've done in, uh, in the last 50 years. So, uh, hopefully we'll make some progress, but uh, I think I'll have to end it here, so thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, some praise criticism, anything you feel like really, because uh, this has been one very long fail train for me. Because things haven't gone as planned, uh, the mechanics didn't work as uh, well as spe expected. So, uh, all in all, uh, not too great, but uh, there's one thing I'll do before I leave, and that is actually like become Defender of the Fate. Because we get an extra missionary, and also we get some other things, morale, morale of armies, uh, war exhaustion, prestige. All of these are things we actually need right now, so uh, becoming the Defender of the Fate ain't really that bad. The only real issue here is that possibly uh, uh, the, um, the, uh, the Austrians will cause trouble. But uh, at least now we can uh, begin the Defender of the Fate against Face. Basically, I can also take the war to convert them. Doing that would make for some direction, but quite uh, good, I think. We'll give them a bunch of rebels. Let's see, Defender of the Fate, where is it? Revolutionary War. Can I basically take everything for 25%? Huh, I guess. I guess the Republic then has the advantage of the Revolutionary War. I don't actually have to, uh, to fabricate any claims, I can simply declare war on them. No problem. But as you can see here from uh, the list, they are already over in uh, in um, as I said, they are already over in uh, the Americas. So uh, I guess going uh, going a uh, kingdom will be the way to go here. So uh, once again, thank you for watching. Please leave comments or praise criticism, anything you feel like really, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Bye.